Ready to record. Okay. Tai Chi Wednesday. Let's get started, everyone. Thank you for joining me. So today we're going to review up to the first strike tiger. We'll go through that after our warm ups and then we'll add on from there. We'll do the other side. So let's just warm up the body. We're also doing a lot of sitting. So same sequence that we've been doing, dropping the chin to the chest and we'll look up to the sky. Just nice, gentle neck movements up and down to start. Maybe one more round and then back to center so that we can go side to side, just like single whip, chin over the shoulder and then the other direction. And then one more round and we'll connect it all together. So back to center, chin to the chest, ear to shoulder, dropping the head back and around to the other side. Completing two or three circles, maybe more if you're moving at a faster pace. And then we're gonna go into the opposite direction. Then we're gonna come back to center and just gently lift the head back up so we can move into the shoulders. So if you'd like, just drawing them up and around or full arm movements. Whatever feels good for your body. And then we're eventually gonna go the other direction. So if you wanna just do the shoulders and let the arms move a little or big circles. Kind of reminds me of a growing up school gym class here. <laughs> and then if you're rolling forward, we're going to take one nice big roll back. All right, elbows and wrists. So you can keep them here, kind of like wave hands, just wrists in line, or you can draw them together and kind of connect the wrists too. Whatever feels good. And then maybe one more circle and then we'll go the other direction. So if you're together, we're out to the side. Whatever feels good. Maybe one more circle. And then you can keep doing elbows and wrists together or you can just roll the wrists for a moment. Really moving the fingers and the wrists around and then other direction, open and down. Good. And then we'll shake out the arms and we're going to move into the hips. So about shoulder distance for the feet, hands on the hips if you'd like. And we're going to come out to the side around to the other side and then pushing out in front. Nice big circles. Lots of movement here, warming up the body for our practice. Maybe one more circle and then we swing the other direction. Really pushing out to the side, the front, around and back. One more rotation before we come back to center. Great, let's move on to the knees. So always two, two options here. You can have the feet and the knees together and just circle one direction. If you'd like to do a wider stance and kind of alternate the knees, whichever direction you're going, okay? Just gentle with your body. We're just starting the warm up here. And then we're gonna go the other direction. Couple of circles. And then we're eventually gonna stand back up. And then we'll move into the last joint, our ankles. So if you want a wall, a great one here today for a visual to hold on to. And then just rotating the ankles. Nice circles. Doesn't matter how high you lift the leg off the ground, we just want rotation. And then circling the other direction. And then we'll move into the other leg. So releasing the foot, finding our balance to lift up our leg. Circle. And then the other direction. Great. 
Great. All right, let's shake it all out. So drawing the shoulders up to the ears and then throwing the arms down. Whole body, throwing down, releasing the tension in the shoulders. And then we're gonna move a little bit faster. You'll hear my voice start shaking. And I'll keep going faster and faster. And then after a couple of rounds, slow down, gently relaxing. All right, is the energy flowing? Ready to do some Tai Chi? Okay, let's review what we did last week. Let's start at cross hands. I'll face the other direction so we're all moving the same way. And then we'll go all the way up to the first strike tiger. All right. Oh, he's moving the camera, so I gotta check. So we're cross hands. Shifting the weight, moving in to embrace the tiger, turning two circles with the arms, open up, strike, roll back, connect out, and turn. Touching the forearm for press. Open the arms, pull back, and push. Fist under elbow, circling the arms, pushing out to the side. We're going to step, re-step, open, fist under elbow, repulse monkey, circle, step, one forward, one back. Nice, natural step back. Turning off the front heel. Number three. Circle. One forward, one back. Diagonal flying. Circling the arms and showing splitting energy. Raise hands. Open up and close. White crane. Circling. And then spreading your wings. Brush me. Two half circles. Step. Open. Strike. Needle at C bottom. Move forward. Pull back up on the heel. Change to the toe. Sink down. Fan through the back. Really separating the arms, turn body, chop with fist, and strike. Parry, block, and punch. Connect out, circle down, step out, show holding back, and punch. Step forward. Grasping the bird's tail, ward off right, roll back, press, and push. Single whip. Okay, wave hands like clouds. Move back, turn. Two circles, shoulder width. Number one. This is two, double wide, and then shoulder width. Last one. Corner direction, making the hook. and strike. High pat on horse. Changing to an empty stance. Separation kicks. Open up. Less than corner. Close the arms. Stand up. 
look, kick, bend, change the arms, sitting down, step, circle, whole body turns as we close the arms, stand up, look, kick, bend the knee, turning the body, straighten the leg, turn, stand up, left heel kick, bend the knee, brush knee, circling the arms, step out, open, strike, brush knee on the other side, open, strike, punching down, just like brush knee, hand at the hip, making a fist, open, punching to the knee, turn body, and chop with fist, and strike, parry, block, and punch, circle, step out, parry, block, and punch, step up or forward for right heel kick, standing up, curl back the toes and kick, strike tiger, stepping one line, parallel feet, circle the arm across, look, step out, two circles with the arms, making fists at the last moment. Great job. We're really completing the section now. Does anyone have any questions? We are gonna review Strike Tiger again because that's what we're gonna work on the other side today. So does anyone have any questions on these movements so far? Okay. Is that someone with a question? So hard to tell with Zoom sometimes. All right. So. Last week we worked on the first strike tiger. So we really focused on from the kick, the arms didn't change. We stepped down and we stepped on a parallel line. Our left arm came across, we stepped out and looked. Our left arm showed pulling or grabbing, our right arms deflecting and at the last moment, they make two fists. Okay, that looks really good, everyone. Okay, so let's do that all together. Just walk through every step. We're gonna stop at the key points here. So if you'd like to start with your right foot on the ground, that's okay. We're just starting from a kicking position. So arms are out, left hands to the corner, right arms to the straight direction where our leg would be. And we're gonna sit down. Step out. Now take a moment and look at your feet. Are they both to the corner direction? Almost on one line? Good. Now our head is still looking to our right hand. Our left arm is going to circle across as we bring the weight into the right leg. We're going to pick up the left foot. And as we step out, we're going to look to the straight direction to where our left foot is. Now, do we have a good bow stance here? Everyone check. How does it look? Nice. Okay. Our left arm's gonna come down. Our right arm's gonna circle across. Weight's moving forward. Our tiger's mouths are leading to show two meanings here. And at the last moment, rotate our right palms so the fist sides are facing each other. Now, if we look from the side, we want to have one line here. So we don't want to have one forward, one back, either direction. We don't want them too close, rounded. So don't have your hand too low here, round the arm. Good. Nice arm position, everyone. Okay, let's do it again. Smoothly though this time. So coming from the kick, again, if you'd like, keep the, leg, the right leg on the ground or stand up, we're gonna sink down, stepping, 
Feet are both to the corner, shift the weight, left arm comes across, step and look. Two kind of circle movements with the arm, making fists at the end. Good. I like what I'm seeing in the camera. Okay, does anyone have any questions on the first strike tiger? Good, Terry. Yeah, it looks good. You got a nice round there. Looks great. I just want to verify. Uh, I wasn't watching, but I want to verify the first arm movement. So mm -hmm. step, not the first arm movement, but the first circle. So you step over here, you come and look, you then step. All that's yep. all one, right? Come across, yep. step. Then this look. left hand comes down in an arc, yep. correct? So like a big circle. That's perfect. Yeah, okay. a big circle up and do a this fist at the very end. And this one's like a bit a, a bent arm coming across. Like it comes. Yeah. So it doesn't make a circle. It comes down and across like a scoop, not a scoop. <laughs> down, down and across would be the best way. So this is showing um, deflecting. So you so, want to think about this time. It's deflecting or it's punching to your opponent's ribs. So you want your hands seated. Yeah, so not okay, seated, seated how we would normally think, like seated like this, but it's seated right. towards the side direction. Does this help? Because tiger's. I'm going to turn tiger's mouth points because we're showing the deflection until the last moment when we rotate and make a fist. Right. So it's really okay. important. The fist happens, and you have to show the, the tiger's mouth until the last moment because there's two meanings. So the first meaning is deflecting and punching to your opponent's temple or head, essentially. The other one is grabbing your opponent's arm here and you would take it out to the side and punch to the ribs. Okay. So we wanna make sure that both palms at the end, I'm gonna show you like this level, but they're wider when we do it. I just want you to see close. When we, right at the end, we make the fist. Right. So it's really important that we wait until the end so that we show that this arm could, the left arm could be grabbing and the right arm could be deflecting. Now, Nancy said that we're so supposed to show the wrist turning. So we don't just come up yes. and turn it. We need to show it starting to turn before we get to the bottom. Yeah, because you don't want to be here at the end point and then turn and make right. a fist, right? So we don't want to be like, yeah. okay, this is where we, we are and then we made a fist. It's as you get there, at the end of the movement, we rotate and make a fist. Okay. Okay, okay. thank you. You got, you got it, it looks really good, Marion. You got nice circles going there. Everyone's looking so good tonight, it's really great. It's gonna make the next move really easy. So any questions? Did we cover a lot of on that? Okay, let's do it one more time so we can focus on what we were just talking about, okay? So coming from that right heel kick, we're bent knee, po toes point down, or just having the foot on the ground, whatever's comfortable. We're gonna sink down, step out, both feet are to the corner direction. We're still looking towards our right arm as the left arm comes across. When we step, we look. Then we have those nice circles. Palms right into the last moment when we turn the wrist and make fists. And how do we feel with our palms? If we had a broomstick, could we hold it with both of our fists? Then you're in the right position. Very nice. All right. So today we're gonna work on the second strike tiger. And then next week we'll add on to that, okay? So the second strike tiger, same movement, just the other side. So I'm gonna do it the off direction so that you can see the arm transition and then I'll do it the regular direction, okay? So we just came from our first strike tiger. We're gonna move back our weight. Nothing changes with the arm so that we can turn 135 degrees. When we shift our weight back into our left leg, the arms come to the side of the body 
and we look to the left. When we step out, we look to the straight direction and it's the circles just like before, making the fist at the end. Okay, so I'm gonna show you now turning to face you, okay? So we're in the first strike tiger, move back, not a lot of change, whole body turns. When I shift back, my left arm comes to sit down, my right arm comes up and opens up, turn, step, look, and then strike tiger on the other side. All right, so let's break it down into footwork and hand movements, okay? So we're in a bow stance with the left leg forward. This footwork is very similar to single whip. So we're gonna move back our weight, all of our weights in the right leg now. We're gonna turn the foot 135 degrees, so now it's to the corner. Move back the weight, relax the right foot on the balls of the toes, draw the foot in, so then we can step to the straight direction and have a normal bow stance when we move the weight forward. Okay, let's do that again. Everyone together. So left foot, step out, natural stance. Move the weight forward. So this would be our strike tiger. We're gonna move back the weight, turn 135 degrees. Relax the foot as you move the weight into your left leg. Pick up the right foot, draw in, step out, shoulder width, move the weight forward. Okay. So what happens if you can't turn the foot 135 degrees? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like the, mm -hmm, that was great. Okay, so say we can't move back. We move back and we can't turn. Turn as far as you can, and then all of your weight comes into your legs so you can pick up and step to the corner direction. Then we continue as normal, moving the weight to the left leg, relaxing the right foot, and then we step out just like normal, bow stance. So everyone try that. So we're in our bow stance, left legs forward, move back, turning as far as you can, then pick up the foot, put it to the corner direction. Move the weight into your left leg, relax the right foot, pick up, Draw in and step out, normal bow stance. All right, how do we feel about the footwork? Let's do it somewhere. Good? Let's do it. What was that? Let's do it. Let's do it, love it. One more time, okay. So left leg forward, normal bow stance. Move back the weight turning 135 degrees or picking up to make it to the corner direction. Weight moves back to your left leg as you relax on the right ball of foot. Pick up and draw in, stepping out shoulder width, both stance, move the weight forward. Okay, How did, did that help Rebecca? Yes, it did. Good. Okay, so the arm movements. So our left arm is in the up position, okay? We're gonna take that arm and it's gonna come and it's gonna sit down and open up to the side. Okay, so when we do this whole turn, our arms don't change until we move the weight back. So then our left arm comes from this upright position, Curved, rounded, shoulder down, fist side points down, and it's gonna come to the side, open up, palm sitting up. Just like it was if it was a brush knee and the arm was out to the side, palm sitting up. Good, okay, so one more time. Left arm's just up top, fist, moves down to the side, sitting up. Great, okay, right arm, right? So right arm is low and it has to come up to meet the left arm. So that one's just gonna open up and come up to meet it. 
Not too bad, right? So it just comes from your fist. It's gonna come up to meet it and make open the palm. Hands turned a little bit up. So we end up in the same position. All right, let's do the next step. So if both of our arms were on the side. Quick question. Yeah, sure. If I, if I am not finding much of a ability to make a circle to meet it up, does that mean that my right arm is too high, that it needs to be lower with this? So it's point? not a circle, it's an upward movement. So the, so the left arm circles down, the right arm isn't gonna circle down to up, it's just gonna come nice. up to meet it. So one goes up, one goes down. But there needs to be a, some kind of look at, that is coming up. I just wondered if my um, first movement was too, that wasn't low enough, you know, maybe I'm, where did your lower but, right hand go in the first place? Is it belly button area? <laughs> Belly button, that's why I'm turning to the side for you. Yeah, so it's about belly button level. Okay. We don't okay. want to be too low. We don't want to be hip. We don't want to be chest. About belly, belly level, waist, you know, waist level. Okay, so we turn and then the arms open. So there's just a little bit. It's not a okay. lot of movement here. Okay, okay, thank you. So sometimes we say circling, you know, in, the, in these movements or we say up and down. And when we first start training, we want the movements to be a little bit bigger because so many of the movements in this, in this style of Tai Chi are really large movements. But then you'll start to see that these smaller movements are just as important. And then you'll find the blend of it. You guys are looking great. You really are. Okay. So from the side position, right? So if we start with both arms, let's just do the arms for a moment. So both arms are up. One comes down, one comes up, palms open up. So are your fingertips pointing to your forearm center here? Good. So now our right arm is going to circle down and it's going to come up and make a fist. Nice circles. That left arm is gonna come across and just like before, turn and make a fist at the last moment. Good. All right, so if we have both arms, I'm gonna step back a little bit so you can see both arms. Down, up, and the other one's across, and at the last little bit, turn and make fists. Good, looks nice. Check our distance here. Make sure that we have enough space. We're not on two different lines or we're not too low and too high. We got that rounded feeling. This one really should feel like white crane. So in white crane, we have the arm in the same position. Our left arm's at the side. Now we have the left arm here, but it should still feel like that rounded feeling that you have when you're doing white crane spreads its wings. Okay, so let's try to put the arms together and then we'll add it to the feet. So if we have our two fists, one arm coming down, one coming up, palms open up to the side. Then we get our circle down and up and our left arm comes across and we make two fists at the end. That looks good. That looks really good. Okay, let's put it together. I'm going to face away from you, which I think would be a, one of the better directions. But if anyone has a suggestion on how you can see what I'm doing clearer through this camera, please let me know. So let's start our first strike tiger. Our left foot is forward, our left arms on top, our right arms underneath. We're going to move back. Our arms don't change. Our whole body's gonna turn, picking up the foot for corner direction if you have to. And then as we move back our weight, the arms are gonna settle down to the side. We're actually looking towards the left palm direction. We're gonna pick up and when we step, we look to the straight direction. Then we have our two circles again with the arms and we make those fists right at the end. 
Great. Okay, let's do it again. So from our first strike tiger, left legs out in front, left arms on top. We're gonna move back the weight. Arms don't change. Whole body turns, pick up and put to the corner if necessary. Shift back the weight, the arms come to the side. We're gonna pick up and look to the straight direction. Circle the right arm down and up, left arm comes across. Last moment, everything arrives together. Great. How do we feel about that, that movement? There's, they're very different on each side. Like one side might feel very natural and the other side might feel awkward, but it'll balance itself out eventually. I, um, I, I was practicing my the lower arms a little differently. So I'm relearning basically doing it with a curve, you know, the bend in the elbow and just not so maybe a circle, you know? Yeah. So it's sort of an adjustment, but. It's a big adjustment because we always want our armpits open, right? So we're never trying to get too much bend or have everything closed. We want that nice, you know, we talk about the hug a tree. That's kind of what this is. It's a little bit lower, but it's still, that hug a tree kind of movement. We're just a little bit more closed here versus being a little bit out to the side. That should help a little bit. And the more you practice, the easier it'll be, right? <laughs> Consistency is key with Tai Chi. All right, any other questions on that movement? Okay, let's link it all together. So let's start at our first heel kick. Oh, uh, Cheryl, Question? so the fist yeah. side the side. Is that right? The two mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. The one is, is striking to the ribs from the side. So you, imagine if you had your opponent's arm, you would pull your opponent's arm and it would be ribs. So the whole rib, yep. And then this one would be if, say, your opponent punched low, a body hit, and you would deflect it to the side so their arm would come to the side of your body, and then you would use this to punch to their head. Okay. Yes. That looked really good. It just looks so it's two, funny. two. Oh, it's the size. It is because there's two meanings. Yeah, because it's not, it, a lot of the movements that we do are one meaning or they're against one punch, you know? not. I, I shouldn't say one meaning because the mo each movement is a way to train the body. So we don't want to be locked down by like the individual movements and think this is the only way that I can use this movement. You know, because these are methods of training to then allow you to further discover the circling of Tai Chi in these movements. But this one specifically has the two meanings. So the first meaning is using your hand to block and deflect the punch, and then you punch to your opponent's temple or head. So that's why we keep that tiger's mouth pointed until the last second. The other one is grabbing your opponent's arm here to the side, pulling it up, and then punching to the ribs. So that's why it's very important when we're doing this movement, we want the palms to the last moment, but there's two fists. It's just that we're never gonna use these two fists at the same time. <laughs> Cheryl, would you say that the bottom hand is almost more of a getting ready to do a hard push, but it could be a punch, or do you think of it as a punch in, in terms of its energy? Um, it's both. So, so it's definitely not one or the other because this movement is both meanings. I guess so, I so that's why it's, it's it, but yeah. Yeah, well, so when you're doing it, you, you should, you know, because we talk about knowing the meaning, right? Connecting internal and external so that our mind is with our body. So when we're doing this, I'm thinking, okay, both times that I could be grabbing, but both. I could be punching. So I have the same meaning and I wait until like, I'm thinking, okay, I'm deflecting, but I'm also punching. So you really want to be clear and show both meanings because we don't want to take our arm and make a fist here and come across. <laughs> you know, we want to show deflecting and we want to show pulling, but then we also want to show, oh, it's a punch at the end. So I wouldn't define it as either or, be and it, I know that's so hard, Cause like so many movements, you know, this is very clear. It's ward off, right. You know, fist under elbow, we're lifting and punching and it's very clear. 
that this is what we're doing. But this one, there's the two meanings. So we want to try to make it as clear as possible and say maybe with one, when you're practicing, maybe you think about one meaning more than the other and then the other side you think about it and then you switch back and forth with your practice if that helps you. You know, this is, uh, this is an interesting move. I really love these, these movements within the kicking section. I know it's the most difficult section, but I feel like it has some of the um, most more interesting movements that we only see one time within the form, just like the end of the form too, you know, with the swing kick and everything. It's, it's uh, very specific movements. All right, let's do it again. And then we'll see if Question. anyone has any questions. So let's, sure. So the yeah. energy at the end, the energy flow is moving at the outer circle and should be symmetrical when it reaches, one doesn't over, one isn't empty and one isn't full or half or whatever. You got it. No, it's, it's both. There's the same amount of energy because there's the two meanings and everything arrives together. So I'm not going to, you know, have this hand be here already made a fist and then I make a fist. Both of these arms close and arrive together. Equally important. Thank you. You're welcome. I love when I can see people come to the camera. Okay. So let's do it one more time. So starting from our heel kick, so we can do both of them. So again, if you want your leg on the ground and just have your arms out or standing up with the toe pointed down like we just did the kick, looking over our right hand, we're going to sit our weight down, stepping parallel to the corner direction, shift the weight, left arm comes across, step, look, circling down, and up, right arm comes across, everything arrives together. Strike tiger, number two, move back. Turning, arms don't change until we shift the weight into our left leg, relax the foot. Pick up, step, look, circle down, left arm across, make two fists at the end. How did we do? It's looking. Okay, feeling good. Let's it's do it again. Yep. All right, so standing up or keeping your foot on the ground, you can start with a straight leg with your foot on the ground. And then you're just gonna sink down, step parallel, arm comes across. When you step, you look, circle down, Tiger's mouth point to the center, rotate, make two fists. Move back, arms don't change. Turning, arms still don't change. Move back, relax the foot, arms come to the side. We're gonna pick up, step, look. Right arm comes down and up, left arm comes across, making the fists at the end. Check our position, are our fist eyes pointing together like we had a pole? How's our bow stance? All right, looks good. It looks really good. Nice arms. Something to think about everyone is shoulders down here, okay? It's really easy when we have our arm up to kind of let our shoulder come up. Mm -hmm. Shoulders down, elbows down. There's a big difference if you have your arm and your palms facing this way and you kind of reach up versus when you turn it out, like we have this fist, you can relax it down. So if I have it up or if I turn it and make a fist. So try to keep the shoulders down here, okay? Let's do it again. Focus on your shoulders this time. I feel like you guys have the movements down. So let's try to keep the energy sinking down. Our legs should always feel heavy. We should always feel rooted. Our waist should be flexible and pliable, moving, and our hands and palms or sometimes arms express the energy, okay? So from our kick, foot on the ground or standing up, whatever feels good, we're looking towards the kicking direction. We're gonna sink our weight down, stepping parallel, left arm comes across, shoulders are down, step. Now, as we circle our arm, keep your shoulders down, relaxed, 
close, make fists. Other side, move back, arms don't change. Turning, pick up if you need to. As we come, relax, arms to the side. We're gonna draw in, step out, look. Circle, keep the shoulders down, making fists at the end. Great. I love when you guys hold it for just a second and I can run back and see, it looks so good. <laughs> it does. All right, little things here. With Strike Tiger, sometimes it, it might be easy to lean into our hip. We want to feel still, Feel like we're in center here. We don't want to lean one way or the other. Feel like we're in the center. Yes. That looks really good. Shoulders down, everything's down. Looking good. Solid fists always, especially ladies. We don't really make fists very often, so we want to make sure when we have a fist, it's a nice, closed, beautiful fist. We wrap all the fingers in. Thumb comes over the first two. And if you look from this way, Kind of hard. See how everything's nice and flat? There's not like a bump or anything. We want to have a nice flat surface, when, even if our fist is this way. Yeah, yes. This is a new one I, I found out especially for me. Yeah, you, you curl it in as much as you can. You know, we all have things. But I've noticed a lot of ladies, I, I've taught a lot of women-based classes. I really enjoy it because women find learning martial arts empowering, but I feel like we don't know how to make a fist sometimes. So I really want everyone to make a nice fist and really wrap them in as, as well as you can. Thumb comes over the first two and see how everything's nice and flat, as flat as we can make it because then we have a nice surface to strike with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. That's, that's what you can do though. You gotta do what you can do, okay? We all have things. I have a weird pinky too, see? It likes to get caught in this direction. <laughs> so, oh, you have, yeah, it's broken. So you work with what your body is, you know? That's why we do Tai Chi, right? Tai Chi gets the energy flowing, it helps the body heal, it rejuvenates the cells. So every time we do it, there's a little bit more good energy to all those old injuries that we have. <laughs> all right, so let's try it again. Focusing on the shoulders and making good fists at the end. So again, if you wanna stand up and start, if you wanna start with the leg on the ground, because either way, we can sink back down into our leg, step parallel, left arm comes across, step, look, circle down, right arm comes across, making the fist at the end. Then we move back, arms don't change, turning, picking up if necessary, weight moves back, arms come to the side, palms open. We're gonna pick up, step, look, right arm circles down and up, shoulders down, making solid fists at the end. Great, how do we feel? Any questions on these movements? Ooh, I like what I see. You know, I love when you guys hold the movements because I just remember doing seminars with Master Young and just dying, essentially. He'd have us holding them for so long. It was like the ultimate training. You know, and we do a lot of movement within our classes, but still practice is a big part of it. And still practice can help us with our alignment and then transferring that alignment into our form. So I really encourage you to, to take these movements that we learn in each class. And, you know, we have the, re, the review classes and just take a moment. And, you know, even if you tape the 10 principles up in front of you and kind of run through them and say, am I lifting up my head in this movement? Are my shoulders down? Is my waist relaxed? You know, there's other things matching internal and external coordinating upper and lower that come through the form practice, but there's things that we can do within still practice to then bring it into our form, okay? So does I've anyone have seen, any questions? I've never seen what those 10, I've never seen the 10 thingies you just talked about. 
So the 10 essentials are on the school website and they're also on the um, association's website, youngfamilytaichi.com. Oh. Okay. And um, you can go in and it's under the students section. Like they have all the documents there. And so they have the forms written out which e with each name of the movement. So you can follow along to that. And it has the 10 essentials as well. So the 10 okay. essentials are the basics for our entire practice. And I really encourage everyone to get real familiar with them. And when you're doing a form, this is something I did and you know, maybe it's not for you, but for me, it really worked is I would take a week or at one point I was training a lot. And so I did a month, I, I was really getting really super deep with the principles, but I would only focus on say head lifting up. And I would think throughout the entire form, is my head lifting up? Am I looking down? It, you know, like it, are my the next month with shoulders, like are my shoulders coming up at any point? Is my waist relaxed? Am I actually coordinating these movements? You know, is my mind in the right place? Because the great thing about Tai Chi is that it's a moving meditation. So we might not think about it like that, but when we're doing these movements and our mind is so focused on the form, that's when it becomes meditation. Because when you are not thinking about anything else, that's what meditation is, right? It's, it's, it's having an empty, clear mind. Bye, Dita. Thank you. Um, it's about having a, a clear mind. And so by having that focus, we can then find the meditation aspect of it. So everything else will kind of go to the side. And that's the that's that kind of Zen feeling we're going for, right? So, would so it be good read the like, 10 essentials. And would it be good like to stand in a bow stance for like a minute or something? And Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Holding your stance. That, that's the still practice I was talking about. Holding that stance, right? And saying, is my waist relaxed? What is my angle? If I'm sitting upright, am I sitting or am I cocked out to the side? Do I have that crotch rounded feeling or are my knees sinking in? You know, I challenge everyone, set a timer for one minute for each stance. Empty stance, hold the arms out, okay? Do a bow stance, do 30 seconds. Do a bow stance on the one side. Then do a bow stance on the other side. Then go to your empty stance, right? On your toe. Then switch to empty stance on the heel. Set a microwave timer for 30 seconds to a minute and report back to me next week. I want to hear how everyone did. I'm serious. When I did Kung Fu training, your first test is five minutes in a horse stance. Okay? Five minutes. Why? Because our grounding, our stance is our basis for everything. So if we are rooted and grounded, our martial arts will be better. Our forms will be better. It will give us more balance, more stability. Okay? There's your challenge for the week, besides practicing the movements, okay? So we're kind of out of time. I know a lot of people have to, are, does everyone have seven, eight minutes to do the whole section? Yes. I got yeses yes. and noes. Okay, I'm sure the people that have a yes or can do to nine minutes. So for the people that have to leave, we're gonna start at the right heel kick first and we're gonna work on both of our separation kicks. If you have to leave, leave at that point. If not, come join me for the cross hands through, through to that second strike tiger, okay? So let's just do it one time from the heel kick, okay? So right legs up or it's on the ground. Arms are out, looking to the right, sitting down, stepping parallel, arms come across, Step, look, circle, making two fists at the end. Number two, move back, turning, arms don't change. Weight comes into our left leg, arm sits on the side. Pick up, step, look. Circle, turning, rotate, make two fists. Okay. All right, if you have to leave, I certainly understand. I know we're all in time constraints. If you can stay, let's start at cross hands, all right? One more time. About seven minutes, I think, at this point. All right. <laughs> Bye to everyone who has to leave. Thank you for joining me, and we'll see you next week. So let's do from cross hands, okay? So cross hands and embrace the tiger. Separate the arms, step, open up, 
strike. Connect out, turning, circle, touch the forearm, press. Open up the arms, pull back, sit up the palms, and push. Fist under elbow, big circle, pushing out to the side, warding off, re-step, making a fist under elbow. Repulse monkey, number one. Step back, strike. Number two, rotating on the heel. Number three, circle, step, one forward, one back. Diagonal flying, circling the arms, step, showing splitting energy. Step back, arms open up, changing to the heel, closing the arms. White crane, circle down, step, spread your wings. Brush knee, two circles, step, open, strike. Needle at sea bottom, pull back, change to the toes, sink down, fan through the back, touch, step, open, upright like single whip, turn body, circle, make a fist, chop, fist, strike with the palm. Parry, block, and punch. Connect, circle down, parry out, hold and block, and punch. Step forward to grasping the bird's tail, ward off right. Roll back. Press. and push. Single whip. Wave hands like clouds. Number one. Turning the shoulders, step double wide, then shoulder width, double wide, last one, corner direction, single whip. High pad on horse, changing to empty stance on the toes, Striking to the throat. Separation kicks. Arms circle on that parallel horizon. Turning the body to close the arms. Standing up. Looking to the kicking direction and kick. Bend the knee. Change the arms. Stepping down. Circle. Close the arms. Standing up, look, kick, bend the knee. Knee and the arm come to the side, straighten the leg, rotate the right arm, turning. Right arm comes on the inside, left heel kick, bend the knee, brush knee. Right arm comes down, step out, open, strike. Other side, brush knee, and push. Punching down, just like brush knee, hand at the hip with a fist open, punching knee level. 
Turn body, circle, relax the foot so you can step out and chop and strike with your bow stance. Parry, block, and punch. Connect out, circle down, step, parry out, block, and punch. Step forward for right heel kick. Connect, stand up, curl back, kick, bend the knee. Strike tiger. Parallel step, left arm comes across. Step, look, circle, making two fists at the end. Other side, move back, turning, arms don't change. Relax the arms, move the weight to the left leg, kick up, step, Look, circle, making two fists. All right, great job. Thanks to everyone who stuck around for the full training. Next week, we'll be adding on. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Oh, and um, Michelle and uh, Marion, we got yes. all the classes up on YouTube now. Oh, oh yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Yes. I so I everything's up. <laughs> yeah, so right. everything's up. So if you want to review, right. it's all up there. And then oh, uh, next week, next week we have another kick and uh, striking twin fists. All oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. So thank, thank you, you, everyone. Thank Such you. a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. What a great class. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're such a great teacher. Thank I'm you. I'm so Stay glad safe. you enjoyed. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Love your classes. Stay safe and